VIP. Hi, this is George. This is another Coalfish 12G video, and this video I'll be covering everything about bleached anemones. First, here is a small review of anemones. Anemones differ in regard to color and shape, even if they are from the same species. Variation in color can be determined by the amount and type of light that the anemone receives. Also, things like the quality of the water it is exposed to, the amount of water flow, and diet, as well as genetic information, determine how your anemone thrives in your tank. Anemones are from mature tanks, and please do your research about them before you make a stupid purchase, like buying a bleached anemone. First question, what is a bleached anemone? How do I know if I have one? While a white anemone may appear beautiful, it is, however, a very bad sign that the anemone has bleached. Being white simply indicates that the anemone has expelled or lost its symbiotic zoanthellae, which without, the anemone can slowly decline and die. Anemones, just like most corals, have zoanthellae with, uh, within their tissues, hence the need for intensive lighting. While there are some naturally occurring white anemones, they are of the species that we would not really see at sale at a fish store. The commonly offered species, such as the sabi and the carpet types, should have some coloration to them, usually a golden brown. Next, why do they bleach? A common misconception of bleached anemones is that they occur only because of too much or too little light. Lighting commonly is a reason for bleaching, but another can be feeding. Another misconception is that it is hosted, uh, that if it is hosted by a clownfish, you don't need to feed the anemone. That's wrong. Often clownfish will do nothing for them. And lastly, can I save my bleached anemone? How? If you have recently purchased a bleached anemone, all hope is not lost, as the anemone might be able to regain its zoanthellae and recover. The recovery of a bleached anemone is dependent on the extent of its bleaching. Total bleaching, when all the zoanthellae has been expelled, will be very hard to bring back. If it, uh, it is possible, but requires a lot of attention to detail and determination to bring back bleached anemones. When you are nursing a bleached anemone, proper anemone feeding is absolutely crucial to successful care. It is important that you feed the anemone a bit more often than usual. It does not have to be uh, zoanthellae to provide for its needs. When feeding such an anemone, do so with very small pieces of seafood such as shelled, uncooked shrimp, or any type of fresh meaty seafood. Some people suggest that cutting a piece off another healthy anemone which contains zoanthellae and feeding it to the one that is bleached is a viable method to curing a bleached anemone. Hopefully in a matter of a month or two the anemone will begin to regain itself and return to its former glory. This is Coralfish 12G. Um, if you have any questions, uh, I want to know them, comment below. Uh, I really need you guys to click that subscribe button. Uh, it's going to keep you in touch with me and my channel and lots of really great incoming videos. Uh, like this video below also and uh, let me know if you have any video requests. I am making videos all the time now, so just let me know. This has been a very great informational video. George out. Yo, VIP.